We're talking about uh, pregnancy and parenting today with our uh, doctor in our health segment, Dr. Ellie Cannon. Good to see you, doctor. Um, so this week, a new warning to mums to be about how much is safe to drink during pregnancy. Yeah, that's right. I mean. This is sort of typical of the guidelines that are given out to parents or to pregnant women where there isn't really anything very specific and then there's a lot of people giving out their own opinion and their information and the medical guidelines are that we should avoid alcohol in pregnancy but the trouble is then there's a lot of other sort of experts on the internet or people claiming to be experts saying oh well it'll be okay well I've done this or mm. I've done that mm. so the genuine health message which is please don't drink in pregnancy gets lost yes and that's exactly what this survey has shown that actually a lot of sort of educated intelligent women do drink in pregnancy and I think that's because of the sort of wealth of information that's out there you'll just always be able to it. prove or disprove a certain theory I suppose um, and it probably should be a bit like driving where it's just zero tolerance where you just shouldn't you know ever drink and drive at all well I think I think with with sort of sort of medical guidelines and health guidelines we have to be very very specific and the trouble is now that everybody is an expert and particularly with parenting with pregnancy anybody can set themselves up as a parenting expert and so people have say well this will be fine that'll be fine and people sort of don't really know where they are I mean, there is so much advice for pregnant women mm. when they're looking at what they can eat, what they can drink. It's that first trimester, though, isn't it, that's really critical. What is the effect of alcohol on a woman when she's in those first 12 weeks? Well, what we know right at the beginning is that alcohol, first of all, is not very good around the time of conception. We know that absolutely. So actually, right at the beginning of pregnancy, it's not good. You In what really sense? Do, what can it do? Well, it can cause problems with the fetus. It can cause problems with development, you know, sort of how the nervous system develops, that type of thing. But the actual issue with drinking alcohol is really about a lot more than that. You know, people who are regularly having four or five units a day. But as Eamon said, we, with this type of thing, we need to be very, very black and white and just have zero tolerance. This is how it yeah. is. And there's no room for all this other sort of extra well, information. The figures in this new study, um, they say more than half of women drink more than the recommended limits of alcohol during those first three months, as you were saying. So that's, mm. um, that's pretty sad. Pretty. Well, you see, I think this comes from the fact that people don't know who to trust. There's so many yeah. people out there who you can listen to. Do you listen to the doctor, the midwife? wife, the health visitor, also all the people within the media and often even within the healthcare yeah. professionals, we're all giving out different messages as well. Well, doctor, you're giving out a message now and you want people to listen to you because <laughs> you've, you've written a book about parenting uh, as such. I what have. aspects of parenting? Well, I've written a book called Keep Calm, the New Mum's Manual and it's exactly about this. It's actually a rebel guide because as a mum and as a GP, I got so fed up of mums being given so many rules, so much conflicting advice. Every mum who comes in to see me complains about the confusing, conflicting advice she gets on parenting. So I wrote a book that basically says there aren't really any rules that are important other than vaccinate your baby and put them to sleep on their back. And beyond that, actually, it's all down to your own instinct. Mm, you say that, but I suppose a lot of people, you know, you, and I include fathers as well as yeah. mothers in this, um, because they're they're not taught these parenting skills at school and whatever. Um, they watch their parents, and then suddenly they realise, oh, I've got to do this myself. And sometimes you can turn to books that give you rules, like Gina Ford, mm -hmm. and um, and and people latch on to this because they just want somebody to tell them. And, and, and these things often become controversial, I suppose. I think, that, I think that's right. I think people do want advice. But what I've noticed over the last sort of 10, 15 years is that there is just, like we were saying about the alcohol in pregnancy, there's so many people giving you advice. I mean, I know from when I had kids myself, you can be standing in a sort of supermarket queue and the woman in front of you starts giving you advice on how you're holding your baby. Mm -hmm. That actually happened to me, you know. And I, I can understand people looking for advice. How but did I you accept or receive that advice? With a <laughs> smile yeah. on your face or...? <laughs> 
I think I pretended Robin. not to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing Robin. you can ever do is try and discipline someone else's children. Yes, it's well, just, no, it was it was the fact that he had a dummy. Actually, she oh, didn't no. like that that he had a dummy. Yes. So. But then I think you know people of different generations who have been through it, and these things weren't there, and these various well, that's what I aids think. weren't if there I, in their yeah. day. Things have changed. Things have mm. moved on. But also, I, I think that very much about parenting. If I sort of look back, so, you know, so my mum bringing us up in the 70s, or her mum. Yes. Them up. You know, they didn't have all of this mm. stuff. They just had bucket loads of maternal instinct, and they had to basically get on with it. And they did absolutely fine. I mean, now the the parenting agenda and the parenting industry is massive, and you're encouraged to buy so much and do so yeah. much. And I just wanted to say to mums that yeah, all of that stuff is nice, but it's not essential. Yeah. Okay, and it's there in your book, and your book's called. Keep Calm, the New Mum's Manual. OK, Keep Calm, the New Mum's Manual. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much indeed. Doctor, see you again uh, next Tuesday. Yeah, Thank you very thanks. much indeed. Um, the weather picture, I uh, hope you can keep calm with that. Good morning, Joe. <laughs>